What's up, HX Stompers and Helix users? This is Steve Sterlacci. I'm coming to you live from a hotel on Long Island where my rescue dog, Audrey, is undergoing some surgery today. We basically had to drop her off and hope for the best, and eventually they're going to call us to come pick her up. We have no real updates about what's happening, so figured I would throw it together, a little HX Stomp preset for you guys, and uh, put it up on Custom Tone for free for you to check out. There's some interesting ideas in this one and some cool tones, I think. This is very much a preset that was influenced by the Steve Lukather Hot Licks or Star Licks video. Um, I've been on a little bit of a Lukather kick lately, so I was watching that Star Licks video, which is unreal if you haven't seen it. And I wanted to kind of recreate the tone that he gets there and like in that he talks a little bit about how he's getting his sound and what exactly he does. And he's using Mesa Boogie amps. And his, original, his regular main amp is a super, a super crystalline clean amp. And he's driving it with another head that he says is EQ'd to be an all out fuzz box that's loaded down with resistors and put in front of the clean amp. So I figured we could do that no problem in the HX Stomp or the Helix. So why not try it out and see what we'll wind up with? So the preset has the Cali Rhythm and the Cali Lead. The Cali Lead is just a preamp and the Cali Rhythm is the Amp Plus cab. It's a pretty simple setup. The rest of it is going through a mixer, which you'll see in HX Edit, and it's going to the Trinity Chorus, a little delay that's stereo delay that you'll hear going back and forth, followed by a plate reverb, similar to what uh, he's using in the video. Again, this is just influenced by, this isn't gonna be an exact thing about his tone, so don't give me any crap if it doesn't sound anything like it. So. Let's go to HX Edit and see what we got around here. So this first block that you're going to see here is actually an EQ that I put on here to make the single coil sound a little bit more like humbuckers, since he likes to use, you know, he has that floor, uh, the EMG full humbucker with the uh, with the two single coils. So I wanted to put a little bit of a thickener right up front for the guitar. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> And that's the bridge pickup on here. So without it, you'll hear it significantly thin out. Not bad on its own, but it just gives it that little extra beef if you're trying to go for a humbucker sound. So that's a little trick. Copy these settings over if you want to get a, a, a humbucker sound out of your single coils. So let's skip now to the regular amp and cap here. We have the Cali Rhythm. Again, regular clean sound. I'm gonna turn off everything here for a sec. So here's just the amp sound. Bridge pickup. So now let's get into the fun stuff first before we kick on that preamp. I'm gonna take this from negative 60 to zero. Let's turn these off, let's turn them on one at a time. So Steve shows us in that video that he's using a tri-chorus, which is a stereo chorus with one up the middle. So it's a pretty cool sound and we have this in the Helix. If you don't know how to find it, you click on this tab and it's only there when you click on stereo. I think if you click on mono or legacy, it won't be there. But once you click on stereo, you'll see this one pop up and it's a pretty cool. You can control the depth of each one. I dialed out the middle depth to be a little more dry. So the middle sound is a little more prominent. So let's hear with just the clean sound in that. Let's turn the mix all the way up so you guys could hear what's going on here. Listen for different ears here. You can kind of hear it oscillating in different spots and going back and forth. It's a pretty cool effect. Dial that back down. And then delay is just, you know, regular old delay sound. I'm using the Mod Chorus Echo, which is my favorite delay. You'll hear it panning back and forth. 
And in the video, you actually hear Steve saying, "You could." He's like, he's in the room hearing it going back to his cabinets, but he's like, "But you're only hearing it in mono, so it's whatever." But this one, you have it here, panning around, and then just got a regular old plate reverb. Let's hear the plate without the delay. <laughs> And now the whole clean sound together sounds like this. I don't need to keep playing that one. Add in that middle pick up a little bit. Alright, so that's your clean sound. It's actually really cool to do phone's going off, we're trying to keep the phones on so that the vet calls. So it's actually really good for this tenths sound. I mean by tenths, you're playing a root and a tenth. And uh, it's a pretty cool like verse part or background part, check it out. Okay, so now let's kick on this Cali lead. So something worth noting here, on the stomp here, I got the green foot switch is your delay on and off. And then I have this guy here, which is gonna toggle on that, uh, that preamp. Also with this, you're gonna, if you take a look at the input impedance, impedance, not impotence, since people wanted to give me crap about that last time, impedance, You'll see the impedance change to 10k when the uh, the preamp is engaged. So here's what this sounds like now. Go bridge pickup. So it's really cool for a nice lead sound, get some really nice sustain. It's more of a fuzz sound than a distortion sound, which I really, it's more on the, I guess the distortion side, but it's considered fuzzy, if you want to call it that. I hate fuzz pedals, but I actually really like the way that this came out. <laughs> play that lick obligatorily. Anyway, let's look okay, at one more thing here before we wrap here. Um, this regular split doesn't really make a difference for me here, but when we get back to this mixer, something that he talks about in the video that I implemented into this preset is he talks about being able to mix the effects where you want them. So your A level is gonna be your dry level and your B level is your wet level and that still maintains being stereo. So if I drop the A level all the way out, you're only gonna hear the affected sound.
and you hear it still maintains the stereo. And if I drop the B level all the way, you'll just have the dry A signal. And then you can actually mix and match to your heart's desire, whichever way you want. You can even pan this to where your dry signal is all the way left and your wet signal is all the way to the right. If you're not listening in stereo, this is gonna to be totally pointless, but check it out in stereo where you hear the effects in your right and the dry in your left. And you can futz around with that and find your sweet spot and get it sounding exactly how you want it. All right, that does it for this preset, guys. I will put this up on Custom Tone for free. Ask any questions below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ruined my outro.